Hello everyone and welcome back to this series on how to draw iconic images. Well the one I want to draw today is one of the most iconic in the art world and that's Edvard Munch's The Scream. It was painted in 1893 but it did various versions. It uh, depicts a person on a bridge holding their head in their hands and shrieking, howling. I think the original Norwegian title was The Shriek. But you draw this kind of, like a, almost like a skull shape, see that? And then you have one hand coming up, like this. Um, as I said, this is from a lithograph and the lines are quite hairy, but I'll just uh, touch them just now, first of all. Coming down like that. A little black in this, which I'll ink in later. Okay, that's a hand coming up there, and uh, the shoulder is kind of hunched over like that. The other hand comes in here. No more detail on this hand. You see the fingers in this one, but not on this one. Coming down to the, the sleeve shape here. And again, outline of the sleeve coming in like that, or going down there. And the rest of the body comes in there. Now the eyes are, of course, wide open, like that. Very curve at the bottom, and the pupils are just like uh, little dots like that. Okay, this one's wide open too, and the nose very simple. Two lines coming down to kind of open nostrils like that. Oh, slightly skull shape, isn't it? And then of course there's a long open howling mouth like that, and you have. Other lines coming down, accentuating the, the shape of the cheeks coming in like that. And the eyebrow is very high and coming down on the other side of the eyes there. And there's a kind of line coming up from here, kind of going across, I suppose, to you know, mark them with a hairline like that, okay? And then you have the neck shape coming in here, with another kind of line there. And as it's a lithograph, you have um, these left uh, bits of the kind of white paper showing through. So I'll just draw these shapes in just now. And we can leave them white when we're shading in. But a great part of the impact of this figure here is the fact that the figure is on a bridge. So we get this great line going across like that. And it's the bridge in perspective, of course. So it shoots away like that. You know, it heightens the tension of the drawing. And it's kind of a fence-like structure here coming down. Again, I'll just draw it in very briefly, very lightly. And the line's going down here. And uh, coming across here, again, with bits of uh, light showing through there. And then across here too keeping that bridge in perspective. And along here, in the kind of surface of the bridge, you get these long lines. Everything seems to be extended and stretched out, you know, accentuating the whale, I think. And these lines on the other side come up here, almost like they're following the lines of the outside of the shape of the figure here. They continue right to the edge. And up here, you have the top of the fence and the kind of wave shape of the water coming in here. Like that. Very quickly, I'll put these in. Because I'll be putting those in properly with a pen. I carve up like that. Okay, up to these lines here. Okay, so there's the basic shape of the image. And I'll now get a pen and we'll ink in. Okay, let's start with the features. Start with the eyes here. Little shape like that. Coming up. A bit darker on the top there. And break up that line a little bit as it comes round. 
like that. And then this one. Quite heavy in the top. And a separate bit. And now that one coming around here. And other people in here. And then these lines coming down on the side of the nose, widening out to these flaring nostrils. Back up to the eyebrows again. Uh, if you look at the lithography that Munch used kind of different lines together to get the effect, okay? So don't use solid lines, all, all of it. Uh, just be careful, like around here, these lines are kind of broken. Coming around like that, and then the lines round cheekbones again, there's two or three of them. And the wide open mouth again is constructed of a few lines, and a little line inside like that. And then the outside of the face comes in like this. Comes up to the around the cheekbone. The hands here then comes in. It's up at the top. Now these lines are a lot heavier than that, so we'll get a thicker pen in a moment. I'm just going to put in the finger shapes now. Coming around there. And the kind of heel of the hand is suggested like that. And then this one. Again, a couple of lines coming down and then around the neckline like that, okay? And what we have now at the top of the bridge, the balustrade or the fence, whatever, coming up like that. Okay, and there's a little bit coming down here. And the shape of the figure coming down like that. You can see that's kind of moving forward like this. And we have these other parts of the bridge coming in now. These lines are deliberately moving, they're not terribly straight. It gives that kind of sense of quality of the scream, you know, everything's kind of wobbling slightly. A line along there, and a line along here. Okay, I'm going to move to a heavier pen now, and uh, we'll start to thicken up some of these lines. The line at the top of the head is quite heavy, so we'll come in like this, fill it in. And also around the side here, down to there. And quite heavily down to here too. Okay, and this bit, this line comes up way up there. I draw one of those lines, imagine it coming through here. But this one, fairly dark coming around here, and that's differentiated a lot more there. Okay, like that. And I also have kind of darkness in here. And as I come down the side of the face, I'm going to use these kind of lines coming down like this. And I'll leave some bits of white showing through, because that gives the quality of the, of the lithograph. You see, it's starting to pick up that dramatic look already. As I said, this is a black and white lithograph that he, that he did. He did other versions of the painting, which are less graphic than this, shall we say, but still quite powerful, of course. <laughs> and this comes in here, and around like that. And the large bits of white that we left, I'm going to leave other ones that I kind of drew in, these big kind of shapes coming up there. And one there too, and I'll just shade around those very quickly. That. OK, 
Okay, put that in there. Excellent. Right. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the, the bridge shape. Shade this in here. On the way up. Like that. Need this black. The edging will remain white, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. So that joins up with the black shape of the figure. Comes in there. Another one coming down. Like that. Join up with the figure there. And this edging here will remain white. There's another edging down here. But the way that uh, he does it, he doesn't draw a line. He just suggests it by drawing in some wave shapes. Like that. Curving up. Like that. And also down here. You go up the way. And then they become the wave shape is going that way. Okay, another couple in here. And then you have these riffles coming straight across. It kind of accentuates the sense of pattern away, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a thicker line. This is thicker here too, actually. I'll thicken that one up. And bring these lines across now. Some of them don't go all the way up. Some of them just kind of uh, go halfway. And you get these lines doing that. And some are thicker than others. see there like that and then down this side again you have these lines which are accentuating the, the shape of the, the curve of the body here almost as if it's reverberating out like that you know that's what gives this uh, image this impact again some of these shapes are one or two go across the way some of these shapes are thin, some are thick, and they carry on and they fill in this kind of twisted shape coming down here, like that. shall we use to quickly fill in this bit here. Okay, that edge of the fence, you know, coming right across there. And then it's uh, very dark and what he does is he leaves some shapes coming in there right along like that okay and then you have the lines on the bridge itself and more of these curves getting thinner sometimes but always twisting away like that. Excellent. I'll just thicken this up a bit more. 
And as you can see, this is quite a dynamic and strong image. As I said, one of the most iconic in the art world. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you can join me again. We'll be drawing another iconic image for you. But in the meantime, of course, all the best, and happy drawing!